I'm just get, getting all the way to the spot where I told you I was gonna. I gotta tie off my needle. To tie it off, you, you take it, take your thread, you take your needle and you put it through, and then you get the knot right there, you hold your finger on it, and you pull the thread until it makes a, a knot in that spot. If it doesn't work on that first try, you can do that as many times, looping it until you get a knot right along the edge there. Now, it's all sewn on the outside, and it's all sewn on the outside around here. Then you take the spot where you left it open, and you turn it inside out. It's like turning a sock inside out. Be careful that you don't break your knot that you made on that last one. So maybe make two or three knots. Push the little feet all the way out. So I told you it was going to have big gaps in it, and it does, because I didn't really do a great sew job on that part. However, there I go. I, I sewed this up top part several times. So there's only a few places where the thread's showing. So then you've got your thing inside out, and you take your fill, and you if, you're, if you haven't made any writing on it, you're going to want this to be really firm, so stuff a lot of stuff in there. You don't have to use polyfiber fill. Um, I've stuffed it with the clean lint out of my dryer before. Like, do a couple loads of towels, and you'll get enough lint. <laughs> um, I've stuffed it with the old fabric, like the leftover fabric. Um, then it gets to this point where I'm ready. I'm stuffed, and I'm ready to show sew this gap closed. To do that, you pull it tight. Now, if you're not concerned about how it looks, you could just sew on the outside of that and have a gap. Um, but I want it to be with the seams on the inside. So I'm gonna pull it and I'm gonna put I'm gonna like put the two seams together and then I'm gonna push it in a little bit. And when I push it in, I'm gonna put a pin in that to keep it shut and I just keep doing that put push the two put, push the two seams together and I put a pin in it and one more time you don't want to push too far in because you want to have plenty of room for writing on the outside so only push in the right amount of seam Okay, so now I've got that all pinned shut. I take my needle and thread again. I go inside of the seam, go inside of the seam between the two colors there and come out of there really close to the edge. I don't want that extra thread showing, so I'm going to cut it really close to the knot. And then you just sew over the edge and over the edge. I'm just sewing up and over the edge each time. I'm just putting the needle through the two pieces of fabric. This is the white bottom piece and then the, the brown top piece. and sewing it shut. The smaller of an opening that you can leave to do the turning inside out and stuffing, the better um, because then you don't have a big area where you show that you've hand stitched. Once you've stitched that opening shut, you can go back and take the, the pin out and you hardly notice where you've um, sewn that shut. So once again, I take this, I've got it pinched together, the two pieces, the white piece and the brown piece, and I'm just 
taking my needle, going through each of them, pulling it up, and going back again. So I'll finish that up. If I haven't written on it yet, um, then all I have to do is I take a Sharpie marker um, and I could write the information that I need um, on the belly of this mole by taking it, my pen and writing what I'm allowed to have. Remember, you're only allowed to have three different things. The mole map, the box, and the stoichiometry problem. And I recommend that you make your stoichiometry problem be this long area, that you make the mole map up here where you use the two hands and the face area as your mole map, and that you make the box down here in the bottom end. But that is basically um, the process to um, sew yourself a mole.